Hello, and welcome. It is another stream of the Splatoon 3 Grand Festival. I think today we will be moving into the second half of said festival, meaning that various things will change in the lobby, and also dialogue will occur, and so on. Also, Bang Bang Bing. Still a funny song. Anyway. As of right now, the lobby is still the same. But I do need to officially issue a correction. I previously stated that this was supposed to be Marie. But it turns out that the meme was Callie the whole time. I was misremembering the meme. This is an important correction. This is important. I'd like to think that this is on purpose on their part and an official acknowledgement of shenanigans. It may or may not be. Now, let me... Look around a little bit more. So, yeah, everything is basically still the same as of right now, but it's going to change soon, I think. But also, There's some sort of shenanigan that people have done that I don't know how to actually do. Utilizing the characters standing here and this box to clip out of bounds. And explore more. Unfortunately, I don't know how to do this. But it's worth mentioning, perhaps. In any case, that's the wrong button. For now, I will just simply play the game normal. If you do get to explore out of bounds, uh, you can look around at all the other stalls and stuff, I guess, and also like wander out into the desert. Where it's mostly desert, but also sometimes you fall through the floor and die. Because you're out of bounds. Tricolor Turf War is set to random? Huh, I didn't know they could do that. Using the good old bad old Clash Blaster Neo some more as well. For now. Because it's fun, even though it's not good, according to many. I've become powered up. Hello, welcome. Just take a look at this! I 
I was just thinking before the stream how I don't think the uh, the mystery event for Barry has popped up a single time since. Oh, hey, shark bites. Neat. We didn't hear that one yesterday. I don't think the mystery event for Barry has popped up a single time since I showed it on purpose that one time when I first did it or set it up. I ran out of ammo. I don't remember if shark bites ever popped up as a battle theme in two. I don't think it did, right? I think the final fest in two was like exclusively fly octo fly, unless it also had shark bites actually. I don't remember. Yep, Calico's got TF2 hats today. Because I felt like it, and I don't have a Splatoon specific hat prepared. But this is a multiplayer shooter, so like it's adjacently relevant. has a better kill range than I thought. Well, oh. I didn't even see you there. The little orbs are fizz bangs. They're a Splatfest specific, like, extra sub weapon type of situation. You can throw them. I always forget they exist. This is a mess. Darn. I was able to see some of the weaknesses of the Clash Blaster in this map, I think. Still did all right, though. Well, not in terms of painting. I don't know if there is a uh, specific time that is known for when it's halftime in this mess, but I'm guessing it's going to be in 20 minutes. If I'm wrong, then oops. I could also try other blasters and stuff, I suppose. Or various other random weapons. But yeah, if someone's up close to you, like... It's pretty tough to hit him with the Clash Blaster, is what I found. I mean, you can direct hit him. You're probably supposed to try to do that.
Also, it seems we're we haven't got a mirror match yet. Granted, we've only done two matches. There's also a lot of people who've won times 100 battles around here. Oh yeah, this is that's what this song is called, Smeared Canvas. I don't think this was available as a battle theme ever because this was story mode only for a while. What did I get? Oh yeah, that explains it. That makes sense. The Hydra has a lot of range after all. Perhaps the, the songs in battle rotation changed as the days pass, but I'm not entirely sure. There could just be so many of them that... Lost track of where they were. Having a tough time with the clash today so far. Thank you for the follow. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> that seems suspicious to me. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I use here? If only there were a random weapon button in the game itself. Good old Junior.
defense this time. Custom Junior isn't as good as regular Junior in this, I don't think. Probably. So I might try both a bit. Regular Junior was like my main weapon at the start of the game. But Bubble fell out of favor as a uh, sub weapon. I keep just sort of stumbling directly into fire. It's not working out too well for me. <laughs> Red, I think? Oh! Maybe something is working out well for me, actually. I think I'm the only one who uses this victory animation. It's an older one. And also it's the least like victory animation, victory animation that exists. Possibly. Time for gold arrow spray. Hey. Why not? I got a new badge. It went over there, apparently. Defense again.
here. That's a corner. Whoops. <laughs> I failed at my order of operations there. I'm gonna charge forever. Aerospray gaming. And yet I only got two silvers. <laughs> Aerospray is a funny weapon. What about the other arrows? ROV? Ah, it's all present. Well, my instinct for a robot swim form would be they fold up like a transformer. Sort of. Like some sort of origami transformer that turns into a boat. I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. 
I don't remember what an ROV is. Okay, that makes sense. It's very on brand for you as a splat soda. Estimate, or rather overestimate the reef slider it would seem can roll I have to remember this this extends to squid and octopus maybe I think we won though Okay. Eels are neat. It's funny to not get number one turf anchor with the arrow spray. Eels have got to be one of the top five or top ten fish that scare, or like aquatic creatures that scare children on account of Super Mario 64 existing. And by that scared children, I mean that scared children in the past when that was a current game. Super Mario 64 is one million feel years old. Do you feel old yet? Is this halftime? Am I right or was I wrong? It's gotta be, right? It's been 48 hours. Yup. There's a different title screen too. I forgot to look at the title screen during the first part. Fire is good in this case, I think, somehow. They went back to the studio for like five minutes for this. The second phase of the Grand Festival, less than 24 hours left now. Is everyone having a good time with the great big splat fest? Who's ready to toss some fizz bangs? Yeah, yeah, Fry. Let's check out the halftime report. It's a moment of truth, but still anyone's game. The team currently in first is... Past. Interesting. 
that correlates with my experience in terms of difficulty with the fights. Wait, Darren first? Huh. No way! By the way, the way they represent the idols talking is they just have, like, PNGs on the screen. Everyone on Team Past rules, let's keep this up! This thing ain't over until the buzzer! Don't hold back! Leave all your ink on the turf! That's right, give it everything you've got, we're in the home stretch. Cry is a pirate. Confirmed. Canonically. Oh, tricolors on the special stage. That's where it is. That's where this grand Splatfest Splatlands Bowl is. Awesome. A one night only stage for a very special battle. Also, you can you can go do salmon run if you freaking want to, I guess. But more importantly, it is now nighttime. Oh, I didn't notice these before. Maybe they weren't there. I guess they're setting up. They're not performing right now. Even Octavio is taking a break. The merchandise is still being sold. The side stages are empty. Oct is gone. Where has Oct gone? Where are they at? Oh yeah, I remembered seeing something else. I can't go over there. But hidden behind the Grand Festival sign. Funny little guy! Funny little man! Apparently many of these are hidden. I... I'll be examining this. I just, I just specifically said Oct was not in their normal spot. Oh? Oh, you're doing the preamble. Okay, now you're in all your fancy outfits and you're doing the entire six minute song. So this is, uh, three wishes. Oh, they get, like, a float on the crowd. This has official translated lyrics. And it, it is six minutes long. And it's very good, and it made me cry. Uh, I have to find Oct. Where the heck is Oct at? There's security jelly. Oh, they're there. Hello, Oct. Located. Big man is rotating. Watch out. I feel like I could sit here and watch this entire thing. Because it's good. Whoop.
That makes sense. I didn't realize Oct teleported around because I'd only seen them in that one spot. Oh, wait. <laughs> they have a secret handshake. This whole song is great, and I haven't seen the choreography, so... Welcome to the next, like, four or five minutes. It's important. <laughs> Pearl is rapping. Did you know that Splatoon is good? Have you heard about this? Now it's the deep cut part. The effects are cool there. They are, of course, all singing about the past, present, and future and all that. The jellyfish even have, like, color-changing glow sticks, I see. I think those are a thing that were in the actual, like, live concerts, too. You had glow sticks that changed colors to appropriate color schemes. Also, I'm realizing that all of the headgear we have access to is actually being worn by all seven of these idols at the moment. That's kind of funny. Glow stick culture is a whole thing. I guess that makes sense. Unfortunately, the player does not have access to glow sticks. I'm supposed to be swaying, hold on. <laughs> Sarah, and, Sarah didn't get the memo. They put a lot of effort into this. Okay, now I'm synced up. Wait, it's looping. <laughs> okay. I didn't expect it to loop. But I guess that makes sense, all things considered. There's a lot of jellyfish here. You can zoom in on the individual groups. Shoutouts to Ox. Anyway. Why don't I get a VIP seat? I saved the dang world. Twice, except one time it wasn't the same me that I am right now. Give me the VIP spot.
Anyway. Octavio is just hanging out. Anyway, that song is great and I love Splatoon. Let's fight people again. I think I just got two legendary table turn cards at once. So that's neat. So there should be a third part of the festival during the countdown. Yeah, there's the song title. Three Wishes by the Now or Never Seven. In any case. Dang it, it's still playing the goofy song I picked. That's funny. I don't know if I can like cancel. Oh, cancel request. OK, it's still playing the same thing. The default lobby thing. Anyway, hmm, what weapon to use now? I haven't used a splatling yet. I don't expect to do great with one. However, why not? I got an emote. Rising Noble Scion? Okay. I can become a Elden Ring boss now, probably. That's cute. She still looks anxious doing it, like every other emote. She has a very, like, am I doing it right? Sort of expression on her face. Is this anything? Is this good? Yeah. The Nautilus seems like it'd be really fun if you were good at it. It's all present again. All right, so I've only seen. Oh, there's like cheering for everyone here. Oh, this stage seems fun. Oh, new battle theme. Ah, 
I have not heard this in advance. Uh-oh. God, this is just like a combination of all the themes. There's even an air horn for some reason. Okay, so the song and the stage and everything going on here is chaos. Got it. They finally made an embodiment of chaos in the game about chaos. And it's great. Oh, I got hit by the screen for like a second. Yeah, like... God, they're like... Somehow they made like a fight pit that's elevated or something. And the song's got like... Color pulses in there. Anarchy rainbows in there. Kalinmari Incantation. Ebb and Flow. Splatoon is making me cry again, I swear. As it does anytime it does like literally anything. Did you know that I like Splatoon? Are you aware of this fact? Oh, this lowers. Right. I didn't parse that. Oh. We didn't go into now or never in the same way, so I didn't, like, parse... what was happening, exactly. Damn. Yeah, that was Fly Octo Fly at the end, you're right. God, I love Splatoon. The Nautilus seems good for that. First impression. And the other person on my team is Khan. The power of foxes. It's all present again. <laughs> How are we supposed to beat past if we just keep fighting each other? Tax fraud? I see squid partying.
Damn. The song rules. Hell yeah. I should have just been using my uh, gun. But part of my brain was like, I keep forgetting to use fizz bangs. I need to do something about this. I don't really need to do anything about that. <laughs> okay, Nautilus is very funny. And we definitely won. What does the other Nautilus have again? Hey, fist bump. Oh, the day rolled over, I guess. Do I have the other Nautilus? No. I forget what it's called. Is it Nautilus 79? It is. And this has suction bomb and triple splashdown. Hmm. That sounds good for this. Might go buy that one. People apparently just put swim and run speed on these. That makes sense. Ah, crap. Splat Tim from the past is here, and he does it! You know what? That's a really appropriate team to rep past with. Like... Flat Tim and he does it. The oldest Splatoon meme. Also, I noticed that Future is defending. I think they they might have they might have stopped making it so that only the winners are defending a while ago. I don't recall if it predates the game's release, like the first game. But it's definitely from Splatoon 1's era. Just generally.
Hmm. I feel like Inkstorm might be a better special for attacking and Splashdown might be a better special for defending. So both Nautilus weapons are pretty usable. Ow. Future's got this on lock so far though. Mm, not quite enough reach. Wait, can I... Damn, that would have been really cool if I hit. Got someone. Damn. What do you have? Oh, that's Rapid Deco. Oh, you also have a Nautilus and an Arrow Spray and a Decapitator. I never realized that the game is ending because the song doesn't do the thing that the song always does. Oof. Future. It did seem like this was easier for defense for me so far. Oh, I didn't realize that Now or Never 7 fan was a title piece you could have. Presumably that's like a new thing. I'm going to go get the other Nautilus. Team Future won 100 times battle. It seems like this one's going to end up being really close so far. I have no idea what the implications of whoever wins will be. Uh, there it is. Deepest cut. That already had something like that. Wasn't there already a deep cut one? By the way, there's the dab. Twitch is lying about the game I'm playing. Did I not save it? Oh, I forgot to change it, I think. I did forget to change it. Oh, no. That's my bad. Thank you for pointing it out. At least I... I guess I didn't. There's a lot of plates to juggle, and sometimes I forget to serve any plates at all. And I don't really know how to use this metaphor correctly. I think it should be correct now. My mistake.
But hello. We're in the second half of the... Well, the second part of the Grand Festival. Less than 24 hours are left. All the idols are performing on stage as a group of seven. I just got... I just fought Splat Tim, but he didn't do it. He didn't does it. Because future one. There's a there's a special stage for the last section for Tricolor. But they're doing this whole six minute song over here. And Splatoon is good. I forgot that you can just go to a menu. This lobby's only a little bit different in that it's like nighttime. And the color scheme is a little bit different, I think, maybe. But other than that, I think it's mostly the same. There might be more posters or something. Yeah, the ramp's always been here. It's been there since the start of Splatoon 3. It's all present again. Fancy Rat Plus. Okay, here's the final stage with its special theme and its very chaotic nature. Wow, I'm like the only person who hasn't won a hundred times battle in here. Because I've only been playing Tricolor. There's an ink storm there I didn't notice. Mostly human is the title that Fancy Rat Plus has. Fancy Rat Plus right curly brace. Whatever that means. God, imagine if it did though. What are they going to combine Toho and Splatoon? I mean, if you think about it, Toho and Splatoon have some similarities. They're both all about combat sport, more or less, given what spell card rules effectively are. Oh, I got it. I feel like Inklings aren't afraid of things too much. Just in general. I 
I forget if some part of Gensokyo like mechanically requires fear. Is that a thing? I'm feeling good about the Nautilus at present. Also, this gun is very shiny. All right, fear is a power source. I need to scrub my t-shirt. That's a good art. Wait, your name is Vowie Angui. But you're but you're smiling and dancing. What am I supposed to believe? Right, you can still go up to the other stages, but... It's weirdly quiet over here. There's Fancy Rat. The mostly human. They're going fast and they won't be slowed down. Right, this goes until 8 p.m. Sunday, okay? So, I mean, I could stream it again tomorrow. I have, like, a very short stream. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. I'm trying to remember where... They, I guess they might have moved that one. I think Variant 2 moves the, the inkling you can use to clip out of bounds, or inkling or octoling. Which I don't know how to do, unless they're over here. Pretty sure that Yuka is like very scary, but also like generally nice to everybody. I guess this is also a way to easily view the stage without the camera moving around. Also, as I mentioned, um, all of the headgear that is ex that is added for this is something one of those seven are wearing in this performance. Like, I think Marina has the earrings. And there's like Pearl's crown. Or no, that's not Pearl's crown. This is Pearl's hat. Like crown, spikes, etc. Big man's headdress. Rai has the horns. Shiver has the barrette. 
and so on. It's neat. They're singing about what the past, present, and future mean to them. And the part about the present is largely Pearl and Marina going, every day is great because you're in it to each other for like a solid minute or two. Except for the parts that are like Pearl saying, the best time to take charge of your life and make it awesome is right now. The argument the song presents for the past is basically like it made us who we are and the important memories keep us going and then the future is like I don't freaking know what's gonna happen but I bet it's gonna rule I'm excited to see what happens in the future the lyrics are there was an official uh, video of the song prior to its existence in the game itself that features a Features translated lyrics. It is on the Nintendo YouTube channel. There's a little bit of emotiveness in the choreography, but I'm not like a knower of interpretive dance and interpreting it. There are lyrics. Uh, are they written down somewhere? It's all present again. Yeah, the, the lyrics are on at least one wiki. I surfaced right in that. Hello, welcome. I've discovered a last minute love for the Nautilus as a weapon. Holy crap, I'm killing so many people. Ah. <laughs> ah, crap. I wonder if this song is different based on what team you're on? Like, I wonder if there's variations. <laughs> oh yeah, the, uh... The Inkling lyrics are also known. I found the English lyrics on the... 
Splatoon fandom wiki for uh, free wishes. I think these are right. Yeah. But yeah, the it doesn't attribute the lyrics that I found don't like mention who's singing what part. But the present part is basically Pearl saying, the past is in the past, I live in the now. I always move forward, never stop. And then Marina's like, Pearl's the best. <laughs> Heck yeah. Congrats on those wins. It seems that your team is in the lead as of halftime. By the way, Ast is currently winning. Who knows what this means for the future of Splatoon, or the past of Splatoon as the case may be. I just noticed that the person on my team is named Joy-Con Drift. Hello, Joy Condrift. It is quite funny that... Hmm? Oh, thank you for petting Calico. Ah, oh, we're fighting the past now. It is quite funny that some places just have the Inkling lyrics only. Well, probably Inkling and Octoling, because I think Marina typically sings in Octarian, or at least does sometimes. I'm sure there is a distinction in how they write the nonsense lyrics because that's the kind of developers we're dealing with. Oh, wow. Oh. That was foolish of me. Wow. Future... Future just got both Ultra Signals in, like, the first minute. I mean, I'll take it, because I'm on their side today. Oh my god! True. I still got the... Well, Splashdown still uh, works a little bit. Wait. This confirms the song has variations. It's doing a, like, deep cut outro this time. I think.
I, I contributed to past not winning defense. Yep, that was absolutely a deep cut outro. I'm doing my part. We only heard the off the hook outro like three times because we got three mirror matches. You know what? I feel like me discovering a love of the Nautilus in the final Splatfest is like a... I feel like there's a literary device at play here, you know? Because in the first, in the Splatfest world premiere, I realized I discovered a temporary love for the Hydra Splatling. Which I eventually changed my mind about, but I was really enjoying the Hydra Splatling during the, the world premiere. It begins with splatling and ends with splatling. It's all present again. like that, probably. Oh, that has a larger splash radius than I thought. I thought I would simply back up and fire. That would totally work out. I haven't used my uh, bombs a particularly large amount yet. Oh, that'd be really funny if that, like, got a revenge kill. Seems difficult to like climb a wall and um, pop out with a Nautilus if that's even a thing that works. I keep forgetting there's gonna be uh, four people on the defense team. I see two orange targets and I'm like, yeah, that's it. That's all of them. They're both up there. Defense is doing well this time. The best fry fan? By what objective measure? I challenge your assertion. They got got. But not by my hand. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. Like, we both canceled each other's specials basically oh 
Oh yeah, did the screen show like static during the um grand run here? <laughs> By the way, I forgot this mask existed. I missed the part of the game where it was possible to acquire it. I only learned about it recently and then I forgot and now I've seen it in action. I don't know exactly how things are calculated, but it means, I think, I suppose, that past has a higher win percentage than present. Popularity is only one component of uh, the entire scoring system. Agent 5? Wait, Agent 5 on on Team Future is a pretty good bit actually. If that's in if that is a bit that is being done. And they got me too. Parallel Worlds Eye of the Storm is a fantastic title also. Shoutouts to Agent 5 here. Got got by the ridiculous moon. Also a great title. Sometimes I feel like my title of exhausted streamer is a little underwhelming, but ah, I didn't catch that you were there. But also, um, it's true. I feel like, yeah, they would. But I put a bomb! First fish. Uh oh. Oh, there was a uh, Squid Sisters outro happening there. I think we were still in the lead, unless they get a bunch of free points right now. Oh, yeah, we still got this. I think. Yo! People were super jumping to me. True chaos. Explosive squid. Oh, right, I have that button. <laughs> I 
I think it would be possible to automate the dab, but I worry about doing so. I feel like that's a dangerous thing to do. But also it'd be funnier. I think I can automate the dab. Too much power for chat? Yeah, maybe. I don't think I can automate the primal because I don't think Calico has access to the voice filters. As they are implemented. The speed at which Splatlings charge when you don't have ink is quite funny. As in, they do not. I was really hoping that this text was, like, legible, but I think it's nonsense. I remember trying to puzzle out what it could mean. It's the present again! Featuring the legendary secretary Paul Allen? What? What does that mean? Penta missiles, that's what got me. The contractor. Oh. Keep getting got. I think the air horn has consistently gone off when both ultra signals are got. I hit you enough. I can only assume the one minute left thing is based on like who's in the lead at the time and or who has the most ultra signals in some capacity. Because I think it did, I think it did the, um, the deep cut finale when Team Future had both at some point. That was a really goofy way to end the match. I think we defended. Hmm, a little less certain at the end there. Maybe purple? Nope. I'm real bad at reading the map.
Number one triple splashdown user user. A great honor for sure. It's possible I should try some regular battles too, but I really like the unique tricolor stuff going on. I like the cool stage and the song. And the fact that Tricolor has been available the whole time has been a fun twist. Imagine if Splatoon 4's Turf Wars just include the Ultra Signal all the time or something ridiculous like that. I feel like the Ultra Signal improves the game mode. It's all present again. Oh no, not the bread bug. I'll be curious to see what the final scores actually are to see like the actual popularity counts. Because it definitely seems like Present has the most votes. Ugh. Thought I was dead. I guess on the bright side, if uh, present is just fighting itself repeatedly, I don't have to feel like I'm affecting anything by losing. Not really. no charge and the entire platform was orange sleepy ghost i feel that one i never managed to get the ghost title green i'm on your side Maybe you'll get it. You got it. I think it was a Squid Sisters ending that time, even though we're all present. Maybe? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's so that it doesn't accidentally form teams of, like, a bunch of the same weapon or something. I'm not really sure what the matchmaking range value of the weapons actually does. Getting there, almost present ruler. Q 
Shoutouts to Joy-Con Drift, who's been on my side this entire time. Well, until now. <laughs> Great timing, Joy-Con Drift. Wow, there's a battle inside my locker. Oh no, they're still here. And we're fighting the past and future this time. Future is on defense. Man, I can't believe there's puzzles in my future. Covers the entire platform. <laughs> well vacuumed. I underestimated you. Oh, good job, team passed. Damn. Splatoon makes me say damn a lot, apparently. But like in an enthused way. In a sort of shucks and curses way. Oop, that was nothing. <laughs> that was funny. At least I defeated the puzzle. Something I struggle with is reacting to being shot, I think. Now I feel like this is a this is something that can be said of many people. In many situations. There's probably not a lot of people who react well to this. Future defended well despite losing an ultra signal once. Almost one or two more fights, depending on whether or not I lose. And then we are at Ruler.
Look how many cool flips I can do. Is this anything? This is how you approach someone menacingly with the Nautilus. Past is on defense. Future and present allied against them. I think both of the people on Team Future had an off-the-hook splash tag. Maybe they're on the wrong team. Who can say? Joy-Con Drift has switched to the Firefin Charger. Apparently. I feel like Chargers are probably pretty tough to play if you've got Joy-Con Drift. Even more so than other weapons. I think I have to paint my own sign a little bit. Ooh. Stamped. You know what? That makes sense. Just waiting on the platform as an inkbrush when the entire thing is your color. Yeah, they're even holding down the ink rail. Admittedly, I am jumping directly into where I am pretty certain the brush is every time. I'm not using a lot of caution or forethought. is always aware. Yeesh. Well, Future got it at the end. Perhaps it's the thought that counts at least a little, but not enough. I'm just going to crouch on this box for a second. Looks like they threw some triple ink strikes into our spawn, too, at some point. I think that guy's title was Normcore Executive. Yeah, well done. All right, one more fight then, win or lose, and we're ruler.
That time the battle activated exactly as that target dummy exploded. All right, future is on defense, past and present on attack. Future's got a lot of 100 times battle champions on their side. Nice. Nice job me, I guess. I'm allowed to say nice job to myself. In fact, I should say that to myself more often. Ooh, almost got pincered by two uh, triple ink strikes there. Nice. One ultra signal for each team. Teacher might have a tough time now. I feel like I'm like doing a bit where I'm an announcer sometimes suddenly. This is a really delayed quad kill, I think. Oh, yeah, we've got the Squid Sisters ending right now. Ah. Oh no, future. They're winning any. Oh, nope. Not at the end. We're together. I feel like future defended at the end there because we were busy fighting, fighting each other. Oh, you can see the Squid Sisters over there. Hmm, actually, it's a big old mess. Oh, we got it. Nice. Saren will never fist bump anybody. To the stars. Even the leader. With cloning technology. Call now for great rates. Destroy! If only I could be like, if only I could give like a thumbs up to Joy-Con Drift for all of the great games. Pask just won a hundred times battle also. another emote oh the the multiplier battles are things that happen in the not tricolor in the uh open and pro stuff that basically means like this battle is worth 10 100 or 333 times the points of normal for the final results 
So basically, they're a big deal, and they help your team a lot if you win. Saren can become a funny robot now. She looks a little more certain about this one. Compared to, like, her am I doing this right face on this one. Still has some of that am I doing this right energy, though. She will forever be cold and have anxiety, unfortunately, for her, I guess. I really don't think I've seen anyone else use all chill since it was recent. This is Saren's animation for Saren only. Wow, I could buy a bundle of somebody else's mail. I can't believe they sell mail fraud at the store. Great. I should buy other hats just to have them. Mounty hats are silly. So, we hit champion, or ruler, rather. So that's pretty cool. I got a badge for having enough tense attack gear. Now what? I mean, I could play more, obviously. I could try switching weapons, could just keep on going. We could play something else. If you wanted. Many options. Zelda's here, apparently. I guess I'd be playing more Elden Ring if I decided to switch games. Because that's what I was doing recently. I like that you can wait through the crowd. Either way, let me know if you're interested in some other games while I do this. I will BRB. I will flip the funny coin. It occurs to me I didn't actually test to make sure this works today, but we'll hope for the best. So... There it goes.
Congratulations to nobody and condolences to two people. <laughs> it was that. It seems that as far as what I do next, uh, there's votes for both things. We've got a more Splatoon, and we've got a... I wouldn't say no to Splatoon, but would prefer Elden Ring. Elden Ring the Convergence, to be specific. Another Elden Ring vote. Hmm. Well, I guess that suggests Elden Ring then. In that case, let me uh, stop the recording. <laughs> <laughs>